How to install the Pixel 6 Pro ROM based on Android 12 on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Pixel 6 Pro ROM based on Android 12 on the POCO F1. We are calling this one the Raven Hacks build. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader, need to have TWRP recovery installed, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because if you are encrypted you are going to perform a format data. If your device is decrypted then flashing disable force encryption is not a necessity and of course videos on how to unlock the bootloader, how to install TWRP recovery, how to decrypt your POCO F1 are linked in the description of the video along with all the files which we are going to use in this specific video. Now do note I am going to switch from a custom ROM which is Awaken OS however the steps are going to remain the same even if you are switching from MIUI. So here it is we do have the POCO F1 which right now is running Awaken OS. First thing we need to do is you will go into settings and here and you will go into security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done go back and then you can go into Google and remove all the accounts which are associated with this specific device. Next up also need to know whether your device is decrypted or not so here it is encryption and credentials says phone not encrypted this means you do not need to perform a format data now if you are running MIUI again you will go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account now where do you know in miui whether your device is encrypted or not so you will go into settings password and security and privacy so here in this specific device says encryption and credentials as encrypted which means you are going to perform a format data which means you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device now another thing i do recommend is for you to remove your micro sd card before installing because if you do not then you might have the issue of recovery being stuck and the solution for that is mentioned in the pinned comment on this video next up what are the files which you need so for starters you need the firmware files now if you know that you are already on 12.0.3.0 firmware feel free to skip this but i just flash it to be on the safer side then you need the rom itself so this here is your pixel 6 pro android 12 port for the poco f1 and then you need your two apks now one of them is an apk m so this is your google photos for your magic eraser and this here is android system intelligence this is an apk again everything is linked in the description of the video next thing we need to do is we need to turn off our device once the device has turned off press and hold press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo so here it is we are in twrp recovery the recovery which i am using is linked in the description of the video as well we will go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done we are going to tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them manually you would know the location first file which you need to select is your firmware file then add more zips next up select the rom file which here is your pixel 6 pro android 12 port once you have selected the files swipe to confirm flash now once the files have flashed successfully we are going to scroll up make sure there were no errors so here it is we are flashing the firmware file and there were no errors script succeeded result was one next up we are flashing the rom itself again script succeeded result was one mm -hmm. tap on the home button now those of you whose device was encrypted you will go into wipe format data type in yes tap on the check mark on the bottom right mm -hmm. do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device if your device was decrypted or not encrypted like mine you do not have to flash disable force encryption 
all you need to do is reboot and select system if you get the message of no os installed feel free to ignore the message and just swipe to reboot and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our poco f1 which means we are booting into the pixel 6 pro rom port for the poco f1 now the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient so here it is we are on the setup screen and let me skip the initial setup real quick now super important thing to note over here is that on the initial setup if you do not get a wi-fi connection reboot your device and then you should be good to go and another thing you might notice is that on the initial setup the device just hangs and reboots so in that case you have no other option just be patient now i'm not sure whether this is a rom issue or the fact that my device is getting old and it might be about to die so here it is we are back on the just a second screen and it might take some time for me to skip the initial setup so here it is we are on the home screen let us go into settings about phone bam here it is pixel 6 pro and here and if i tap on the android version here it is android version is of course 12 and we can also try to activate the android 12 easter egg so there it is android 12 easter egg in the building we can also go into settings and security and here and you will notice that phone is not encrypted which means disable force encryption was flashed without any issues next up let me connect to the wi-fi sign into my account and then i will be back to show you the next steps so here we are i have done the initial setup and we are still running the same build the pixel 6 pro build and next up let us go to the google play store and herein we can for starters check if the device is certified or not so here it is play protect certification device is certified now something you will notice is that you are going to have a bunch of updates which are available so here it is you can see it is downloading a bunch of updates right now and it is also downloading the google camera update because it thinks that this is the pixel 6 pro whereas it is not the pixel 6 pro now super important thing which you need to note over here is that we are going to update this android system intelligence because i want to show you something but what you need to do is update all your applications first of all but to make the video shorter i will only update one application so we have successfully updated android system intelligence and now if i go into settings and system i do not have the option for live translate now that is a small issue with this specific build how do you fix that you go into settings and apps and then see all apps android system intelligence scroll down you will notice the version is from pixel 5 because it says over here pixel 5 how do you fix this tap on the three dot menu on the top right say uninstall updates and select ok now if you have a look at the version it is from the pixel 6 so next up we need to install the android system intelligence apk so we are going to go into files apps here and go into app installs and select the apk which we had downloaded for your android system intelligence which is from the google play store so this here is the apk and we are going to tap on it and say install you do need to let files install applications and it did give us a pop-up about updating the application i skipped it here it is let us give it one more try the app is installing right now app was installed and now if we go back into apps and see all apps android system intelligence here it is the version has updated to s8 from the pixel 6 and if i go back into settings and system here it is live translate is back feel free to enable it add your languages next up we are going to take care of our google photos so google photos is baked into the build out of the box but again we want a specific version how do you do that again go to the google play store and here and we are going to search for split apk installer here it is the application tap on install now once split apk installer has installed we are going to open the application install apk's internal file picker allow over here and this is our internal storage go into the download folder and here and select the google photos apkm which we had downloaded check mark select over here it is going to ask you if you want more languages if you want more languages feel free to check any of those options i will just say install and of course we will get the same prompt to let sai install apk's settings allow from this source and then say update now you can go back you will get a blank screen go back one more time and there it is it is giving an error message that there was a problem parsing the package but it was installed successfully as well do not show again we are getting the message it was installed and now let me open the google photos application
so here it is let me say turn on backup over here you have the option of original or storage saver we will say storage saver confirm skip this part and now let us go ahead and try to edit this picture tap on got it over here go into tools bam here it is magic eraser is available in the building it is trying to find some suggestions for it and at this point magic eraser is going to work absolutely fine let us give it a try there it is it is trying to find something and pretty soon the notch should be removed there it is notch removed successfully now another super important thing which you should do is you can go back to the play store and here in turn off the updates for your photos application and for your android intelligence thing so again go to the play store and all you need to do here is search for photos go into the google photos application three dot menu on the top right and enable auto update uncheck this and the same thing you can do for your android system intelligence as well so here it is let me search for android system intelligence so unfortunately i cannot find android system intelligence but with respect to android system intelligence the super important thing you need to note is that if and when you come into a scenario wherein live translate disappears all you need to do is go back into your apps see all apps android system intelligence and make sure the version you have is for the google pixel 6 if you get the version for pixel 5 or pixel 4 with the update just tap on the three dot menu and say uninstall updates and you should be good to go and of course you do have the pixel 6 wallpapers here the bloom wallpaper is available here living universe is also there along with the option of motif wallpapers and there it is peeps that is how you install the android 12 pixel 6 pro rom on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you